Like and subscribe. Gene modification, gene editing, gene splicing, whatever you call it, it's something that has sparked a lot of controversy. While some say this technology will lead to a longer lifespan in humans and an overall improvement in the quality of life, others look at it as simply as man playing God. From zombie dogs to spider sheep, here are 10 of the most bizarre animals created by humans. Number 10. Zombie Dog most of us agree that dogs are pretty innocent and peaceful creatures. That wasn't the case back in the early 20th century, when dogs were frowned upon in the Soviet Union, an experiment was carried out that will leave you speechless. In 1940, Russian scientists released a video of several dog heads that were kept alive for several hours, wiggling their ears in response to sounds and even licking their mouths. Yes, you heard that right, the scientists claimed they could keep the animals alive by an artificial blood circulation system. But that was just the first time scientists had created zombie dogs. In 2005, American scientists created another pack of zombie dogs. The team rapidly killed the dogs by flushing all the blood from their bodies and replacing it with oxygen and sugar-filled saline, according to the researchers. Three hours later, the team gave the dogs a blood transfusion and an electric shock. Lo and behold, the dogs were resurrected, and while some had permanent damage, most were completely fine. The research suggests that the treatment could one day revive people who are hemorrhaging blood too quickly for doctors to repair their injuries. Do you agree with such practices? Let me know in the comments. Number 9. Translucent Frog Not everyone likes frogs. They are green and their skin is kind of rough, which is not that pleasant upon the touch. These frogs that were found in Russia are completely different. They look like some horrible experiment gone wrong. The Russian researchers found about 40 of these frogs near a lake where they used to dump chemical waste. They say the lake was so polluted that at one point it changed its color from blue to orange. This must have affected the eggs, theorized the researchers, as they were left unprotected from the environment which made them lose their green pigment. The skin is completely translucent, so much so that you can see their veins and their still beating hearts pumping the blood inside their little bodies. They even had black eyes, which makes them even more peculiar. The researchers have to figure out whether this condition was actually caused by pollution or something else. Number 8. Human Pig Chimera Okay, so we're getting to the fun stuff. So far, we've covered a couple of creatures that just recombine DNA from other creatures and some weirder things thrown in. At no point did we ever have a human-animal hybrid out there. That is because there have been a lot of ethical issues revolved around such experiments. They aren't usually carried out. But some mad scientists who like to play God don't care about ethics at all. This creature I'm talking about now isn't really half pig, half human. Largely due to the massive ethical consideration, scientists never went the whole way. What they did was inject human stem cells into an early stage pig embryo and then implanted the embryo into a female pig and then allowed it to develop for 28 days before being removed. The reason why they stopped there is that this was long enough to understand how the pig and human cells interacted with each other without raising any concerns. That was the whole point. If they did let the thing come to term and be born, the result would be unpredictable. But one speculation is that it might result in an animal with a human-like brain and human-like thinking patterns. Yes, I'm talking about Pigman. I cannot imagine what it must be like to be a human that is literally born into the body of an animal, and thankfully the people in charge did not want that to happen either. So shows that some scientists are not that insane. Number 7. Silk Spinning Goats First there was Spider-Man, then there was Pig-Man, but Spider-Goat? That's right, researchers from the University of Wyoming found a way to edit the DNA of a goat with that of a spider and, you guessed it, created a web-spinning goat. It's pretty cool and all, but why in the world would anyone need a web-spinning goat? As it turns out, there are multiple uses for spider silk in medicine including artificial ligaments, tendons, eye sutures, and jaw repair. What's more, there is a potential for using spider silk in bulletproof vests and airbags. Unfortunately, as you might imagine, an individual spider would take a very long time to create enough silk for chemical applications. 
This means that the medical applications that require it are still very expensive, and the prospect of expanding its uses are daunting. Since the agricultural revolution, the answer to this question has typically been farming. However, experiments in spider farming have proven very difficult, if not unsustainable. But thanks to silk spinning goats, large quantities of silk can be harvested from the goat's milk, meaning that the product can be easily farmed and sold for a fraction of the price as a spider silk. Number 6. The Humanzi If two Chinese scientists are to be believed, China nearly made the first hybrid decades ago. In 1967, they came close to creating a human-chimpanzee hybrid, and they would have succeeded if the project hadn't been shut down. Two scientists from Shenyang have claimed that they participated in an experiment in which they successfully impregnated a female chimpanzee with human sperm. Their ultimate goal being creating a more advanced chimpanzee, one with a bigger brain and a wider mouth. They hoped that these newly developed features would allow them to speak. If they were successful, life wasn't going to be easy for this new hybrid. They planned to have them pull carts and herd sheep and even send them off to space as experiments. The project fell apart because of the Cultural Revolution. Zealous revolutionaries smashed their lab and destroyed their work, and the chimpanzees died. The researchers claimed that she was already three months pregnant. In 1981, the scientists said that they planned to try again. Nothing ever came of it, though, likely because of the growing concern about human ethics. Number 5. The Sudden Death Mosquito Nope, they aren't genetically engineered super mosquitoes that give you more than a minor irritation when it bites, although their name does make them scarier than they are. In actuality, they are, their creator's hope, would be the way for us to completely eliminate mosquito-borne diseases like dengue and malaria. Sudden death mosquitoes are genetically altered males that have been pre-programmed to die, but before they do, they pass their same genetic trait to their offspring. These mosquitoes survive in a lab because they are constantly being fed tetrasaline, a common antibiotic that somehow represses the death gene. Out in the wild, they don't get access to tetracycline, hence the repressed gene kicks in. Scientists hope to release these mosquitoes into the wild and have them mate with wild females. The resulting offspring can carry the death gene and subsequently die young. Dengue is carried by mosquitoes and is the scourge of urban areas in the developing world much as malaria is in rural regions. Many mosquito elimination programs simply don't work, and some are even harmful to the environment by use of chemicals. Number 4. Zebroid If you have ever wondered if animals like zebras, horses, and donkeys ever got along with each other, look no further. Zebroid is the general term for any zebra hybrid, which occurs when a male zebra crosses with a female of the equine family. Equidae is a family of all horses and horse-like animals. These hybrids have never appeared in the wild, and many zebras are born with dwarfism, meaning they are as small as ponies and are almost always infertile. There are many animals belonging to the zebroid group, including the zorse, which is a hybrid zebra and horse, donkey, a hybrid of zebra and donkey, and the zoni, a hybrid of a zebra and a pony. These famous animals usually have the body of the female animal and stripes of the male zebra. These stripes never cover the entire body and are usually limited to legs and feet. Number 3. Vacanti Mouse you may have seen it in a textbook or on TV, a mouse with a human ear on its back. You might have thought that the mouse was genetically engineered or deformed or the result of a mad scientist playing God. Well, all of this is true. The Vicente mouse, or the enormous, whatever you call that freaking thing, one thing's for sure, the mouse with the ear on its back is an icon of science and has been for some time. 20 years ago, Harvard surgeon Joseph and his brother Charles Vicente, along with MIT engineer Bob Langer, experimented with techniques to create human body parts in the lab. They implanted the shape of a human ear in the back of a mouse as part of a research to better understand how they could help grow body parts for humans. The researchers created an ear-shaped scaffolding and put cells of cartilage from a cow on it. 
Cartilage is a type of semi-rigid tissue found in your ears, nose, and chest. Then, the scientists took a strain of mouse that was immunocompromised, meaning that it didn't have an immune system that would attack the foreign cow cells. They put the mouse under anesthetic, made a surgical incision, and placed the ear shape under its skin. They published their results in 1997, which were really disturbing. Just look at that hairless mouse. It will give you nightmares. After the BBC aired a documentary on tissue engineering, the world saw the Vicente mouse. Throughout the public consciousness, the mouse is still an icon of the power of science. Number 2. Glow-in-the-dark mice Gene therapy has long been the focus of complex research and studies. The challenge for those working in the field is how to introduce modified genes into DNA for permanent changes or into RNA for temporary changes and get those modified cells to work among naturally occurring ones for a chosen period of time. In order to accomplish this and make studies less invasive for subjects, scientists at Stanford University came up with a bright idea. Simply put the cells of all living creatures that are built out of proteins in order to figure out how to add modified proteins to RNA. The researchers isolated a glowing jellyfish protein responsible for the species' infamous bioluminescent abilities. Their plan was to add the protein to the RNA of a mouse. And in the early days of 2017, they succeeded. After a complex procedure, the team had created healthy, well-functioning, glow-in-the-dark mice that lived to their life expectancy and even reproduced. Number 1. Comma Exactly who authorized the crossbreeding of a camel and a llama to create the first comma and then named it a comma? Oh, right, the Crown Prince of Dubai. Camels weigh six times as much as llamas, so suffice it to say that the artificial insemination was the only option for researchers in the United Arab Emirates. They succeeded in 1998, creating an animal they hoped would have wool of a llama with the even temperament of a camel. To their disappointment, Kama has proven rather moody and it doesn't really listen to any scientists. Maybe it's because its parents don't even exist. Which one of these animals did you find the most fascinating? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.